We are gathered here today to see what happens if you want to try to enable a warm rinse. This is just the testing stages. I'm not doing anything now except testing. Uh, we have some water in here because we've already tested it to make sure it works so I don't look like a total noob on the, on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what you see here is the timer is in rinse. That's set to cold. Doesn't matter the size. And if you go ahead and kick the timer on, kick the water on, that is warm. And you'll notice, no matter where I change it, the water does not change. So it's stuck on a warm rinse. How did I do it? See the red wire? Let me get the drop light here. I just choo choo fungled the red wire on. Top is the cold valve and the bottom is the hot valve. The bottom one has a red connector. Uh, very simple. At the very top of the white connector there's a white wire and that loops into the white wire on the red and as you see there. So those are all just together because those are just the neutral and then um, the one up top there is looks about yellow with a red tracer and then brown with a red tracer and those are connected up to the timer in here and through the or rather through the uh, temperature selector so the plan is to have a warm warm option this is a somewhat manual process basically what I did is the hot lines which is going to be the yellow and red tracer and the brown wire are shorted together so normally the cold valve only would be open but we're also sending power to the hot valve and when you open both valves you get warm and that's exactly what we're doing here so that disables this switch so basically you can have cold cold warm cold hot cold or we're going to end up eventually drilling a hole through the control panel here and just having a toggle switch for warm rinse or for warm warm I should say on and off and that'll work for both wash and for rinse. I have no way of segregating that in this particular case. So if I wanted hot warm I would have to leave the switch off, set it to hot, start it on the wash. As soon as it's done filling I can then flip the switch on and get a warm rinse, so it will be hot warm. Or if I wanted warm warm, it would be the same thing. And then you could do a cold warm, but I've never seen no, that as an option. Even on like machines from the 40s, 50s, and 60s, never yeah, had an option. Yeah, that never like had that. an option. But yeah. anyway, proof of concept is there, and this will all work. The uh, thing I'm a little worried about is the other machine, because that has the automatic temperature control. And I don't foresee that being a problem. Um, but I, I, I think it'll work. I'm not entirely positive. We're going to have to basically do the same step that we did here and uh, try it out. So basically the way this is going to end up working eventually when I go and do this is I'm going to cut the yellow with red tracer and the brown wire and run, you know, connect a wire to each of those. That's going to run up here. When they're shorted together you get warm, warm or just warm, however you want to articulate it. And when you shut it off, they're not shorted together and they operate independently. Quick, simple, and easy. And when I'm going to do it, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like cutting any wires right now. But uh, the idea and proof of concept is there. So I can sort of add a sort of warm rinse, kind of in a somewhat manual process. And that would be the easiest way without playing games with microcontrollers and timers and other fucking bullshit that you don't need. A manual process is more than plenty. Anyway, that was it. Just a quick one on uh, the, uh, the comings along of this. Thank you for watching.
make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.